Hey guys, what's going on? It's T Carp or Travis um, in for another reading of the Sasquatch Awareness Project. Um, guys, before we get started, thank you so much for again just hanging out with me and and understanding and and being patient with me. Um, recently, um, I've had some emails from you guys, and I checked out the episode. L.A. Marzulli had a guest on and about the healing power of Sasquatch. Um, L.A. Marzulli also um, tried to tell the guy that he believed that my dad, and he hadn't said this on camera, but um, and he hadn't texted me or emailed me or anything like that about this, but he believes that um, the Sasquatch were responsible for dad's death. Now, here's what happened with dad's death. So everybody knows it's out on the table. So what happened that night is I get I come home from work I get a phone call from um, from dad's girlfriend that um, that he that something is going on we believe that um, dad's having an allergic reaction something's something's happening but um, he said the left side of his face was going was having issues in the and the and I think it was like right shoulder something was going on he makes it to the restroom and starts vomiting um and then passes out she calls 911 ambulance gets there all that she calls me and says hey the ambulance is coming to get your dad you need to get there now dad's not married so um he has uh i am the uh i'm the oldest next of kin i've got to make decisions in february that year uh my grandmother had passed away. So in February, it had been 18 months she she passed away and dad and I sat down and had a conversation. I was like, hey, we need to figure out what you want if anything happened. And, and one of the biggest things that he said was he didn't want to, um, he didn't want to be held here. He didn't want, if he was gone, let him go. Um, my grandmother, we, we it, it was very difficult. Uh, my grandmother, stayed stayed alive for a few days and that was very difficult for him so and he always kind of made jokes is you know when i get old you know just roll me out into the woods and let the bears eat me and just kind of always joked about that but and you know we had made those decisions and i made a promise to dad that um if anything happened that i would you know i i, I wouldn't keep him around i would let him go um so when i got to the hospital you know i'm thinking to myself you know, dad's had a stroke. Um, these things happen. Um, they, um, they're going to give him medication. It'll be just fine. Um, my sister and I walk in, uh, they call, they call me back. My sister and I walk into the hospital room and, um, dad's laying there, um, not moving and, uh, and he's intubated. And the doctor comes in and says, your father has suffered a unsurvivable brain aneurysm and um, and yeah and that's that's what happened um, ended up calling family in um, calling uh, calling loved ones we all said our goodbyes and then at the end of it I kept my promise to my father um, and I told him that and I apologize to everybody, but I said, I have to keep this promise to my father and I let my father go be with Jesus. Now, the cause of it was it, like I said, a brain aneurysm at the back of his, uh, back of his brain near his spinal cord. It was, um, it was massive. It was unsurvivable. Um, when, um, he had zero reflexes. Um, zero, could not breathe on his own, z nothing. It was uh, the part of the brain stem that controls every small function of the body. Um, and do I think that the Sasquatch zapping him so much had something to do with? I, I think that it sure didn't help. And uh, so my point to you guys is, is, um, while Sasquatch may have helped this person, I don't know if they're good. And that's, and that's what my dad th thought. So let's quickly read. I've got about five more minutes, 
before I got to get to work. So let's read this together. Let's read about five minutes. We're going to start on page 53. And the thing is, is are the Sasquatch dangerous? Yes, they can be. The Sasquatch are like humans. Each is a unique individual with wants, needs, desires, will, and intellect. The majority appear to be benevolent, and they avoid contact with humans as much as possible. However, just as in our society, there is a criminal element, which can be extremely dangerous. Some are malevolent and seek to do harm for a variety of reasons. Dad nailed it. If we believe, and you may think that Bigfoot are just uh, just ape-like creatures or, or, or apes, guess what? Even in ape hierarchies, there are benevolent and male malevolent ones. They all have personalities. Have you ever had a dog? You've had a. There's a difference between a good dog and a bad dog. They all have different personalities. Same concept and same thing with the Bigfoot. They all have different personalities. They have good days, bad days, wants, desires, needs, all that stuff. Even if you believe they're just an ape or you believe like I do, like they're a, a, a Nephilim, a, a human species, a, a race, whatever you think they're, there's more of a spiritual aspect I believe to it. But the, the point is, is you don't know how they are. You don't know what they're thinking. They can't communicate with you or they, they can, they won't sometimes. So that's my point on there. But they're just different. They're just different. Every, every one of them has a different thing. So can they be dangerous? Absolutely they can. There are hundreds of encounters where Sasquatch will make a ferocious display. Campers, hikers, hunter, uh, hunters, fishermen, homeowners, farmers have experienced what is described as a scream roar. The vocalization is so loud and fierce that it can be felt and, and vibrates the witness's chest. Many times, this is accompanied by the large, uh, or excuse me, the sound of large limbs being snapped in two, trees being pushed over, or large boulders being thrown. These displays have caused witnesses to flee the area, leaving valuable equipment and possessions behind, never returning to the location to retrieve them. Some have lost control of their facilities, their bowels, that, and, you know, makes sense with what dad happens, it's kind of zapping him. It's like, man, those vibrations will just send everything into, into a skizzy. Um, while others went into shock and were unable to move. These displays are, uh, by the Sasquatch are meant to scare and cause the person to leave the area. In a large percentage of these encounters, the Sasquatch does not show itself. Instead, it stays hidden, relying on the fierce, uh, fierceness of the display to force the person out of the area. These encounters can cause long-term negative effects on people, including post-traumatic stress syndrome, or PTSD, and extreme fear of being in the outdoors. Despite these harrowing displays, no one is physically harmed. My friend Steve Ishtal has said many times, if a predator wants to harm you, then you will never hear it coming or have a clue it is in the area. He's correct. If the Sasquatch wanted to do these people harm, there would have been no one left uh, alive to report. Though it is disturbing, if you have had or do have an experience with a Sasquatch like this, the intention is slash was not to harm you but to move you out of the area as fast as possible. One complete opposite, uh, on the, excuse me, on the complete opposite uh, of the spectrum, witnesses have reported the Sasquatch performing good deeds. Again, like the guy that we had talked about with L.A. Marzulli. From saving a hunter from a mountain lion attack, rescuing an injured hiker, keeping an infant safe and warm for two or three days, and then returning the child to a location where he or she can be rescued. However, I have also been contacted by those who experienced terrifying encounters with the Sasquatch, including sexually deviant acts, attempted abduction of children, the killing of pets and farm animals, the destruction of property, and generally terrorizing those who have had an encounter. There are also many credible reports of the Sasquatch abducting women and men 
for mates throughout history up to the current day. They also have been known to take children and never return them. And with that, we're going to end on page 54. So we're going to keep up with that. Guys, uh, again, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I love you guys. Um, just just keep, keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Keep Miranda in your thoughts and prayers. Um, we're going to finish these things up. We're going to get Dad's house sold here soon. Um, and then just kind of keep keep on keeping on and then we'll be able to really push the the gas with this channel and all that so guys i love you thank you again if you if you want to email me or contact me email's the best way i can uh, kind of look through it and reply you can find me at t c a r p 1616 at yahoo.com we can converse we can talk more whatever you want to do um, i'll do my best to get to you um, thank you guys be blessed